Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh So for today Me and my team will present to you About simulation project Which is for subway Prison diplomatic Putrajaya This simulation project Is conducted by Four representative from DLM 6A Which is Number one is Lokman Nur Irfan bin Abdul Majid Number two is Ahmad Irfan bin Izha And number three is Muhammad Nafiq Zikri bin Muhammad Nazri. And for the last one is Imran Afiq bin Abdul Rahman. For this project, our main objective are Number one is to increase the production from 25 pieces of sandwich to 45 pieces of sandwiches. And the second one is to reduce production time from 30 minutes to 25 minutes. And the last one is to increase efficiency of utilization to 40%. All these objectives we can compare from the original and our suggested. So, let's go. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, so today I will talk about the company background Subway. Subway we already know is very famous with their sandwich. And uh, Subway in Malaysia has 87 outlet in Kelang Valley and 30 at Penang and Johor Bahru. Okay, the company Subway that my friend already chose uh, located at 32 Jalan Diplomatic 3-1 Pisin uh, 50 Sik 2000 Putrajaya Wilayah Persekutuan Malaysia. The operation hours is 8am to 10pm and the service that they offer is make and sell sandwich, uh, bake and sell cookies and beverage. So the owner for this franchise is uh, Mrs. Liza. So that's all from me about the company background. So uh, my friend will continue the presentation. So that's all from me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Luqman Ifan Bayan Dumajid and I'm from dlm 6 a So my part is to describe the simulation, the actual simulation and the suggested simulation. Uh, firstly, as you can see, this is the actual simulation that we have created and the the simulation produced the data which is uh, with the eye shape layout uh, this subway team which is a uh, subway restaurant can run about 10 hours of work time and they will uh, produce the total number of production which is 25 pieces of swing dishes per day and with this number the production will generate the total num total percent of uh, utilization which is for the wrapping center only for five percent so this is the actual simulation for subway restaurant so for the second part i want to describe the suggested simulation that we have created for subway restaurant so uh, as you can see this is the suggested simulation that we have created and at the suggested simulation we have changed the overall shape layout which is we using the H shape layout and using the same team of and we using the same workers and using the same machines. Uh, this subway teams runs about ten hours of work times and increase the productions about 40, 43 pieces sandwiches per day. So, uh, with this number of productions, uh, they also generate the utilization at the wrapping center uh, by the wrapping machines into 8% of utilization so we can know that with the suggested simulation the production times and the utilization of the production will be increased rather than the actual simulations then my part is about to describe the summary about the suggested simulation and the actual simulation that we have created for Subway restaurant. 
so uh, for the first summary is uh, uh, the objective that we have that we want to achieve is to increase the production of the sandwiches between 25 per day to 45 per day so based on our simulation that uh, we have created the first objective uh, that we have created is uh, achieved because uh, from the actual simulation the total number of product production that the subway restaurant workers uh, can produce per day is around 25 and uh, for the suggest suggestive simulation uh, uh, we uh, the suggestive simulation that can, uh, show the workers can produce around 40 to 45 sandwiches uh, per day so for the second part of the summary is uh, the objective is to reduce the production time from the 40 minutes to 30 minutes so uh, same on uh, the first objective uh, based on the simulation that uh, we have created uh, so uh, the second objective if is achieved because on our suggest suggestive simulation, we re rearrange uh, the layout of the machineries in the subway restaurant uh, that are uh, causing the production time become faster and smoother. Uh, so uh, the result of the production time decreasing from the actual simulation, which is uh from the 40 minutes to 30 minutes of the production times and uh, we can get uh, the total time of last minute is 10 minutes and this will make the productions more efficient so uh, the product that uh, Subway restaurant produce per day will increase so that's all from to me. summarize our third objective is to increase efficiency of utilization by 40%. To summarize all the number from actual simulation and suggested simulation model, we have recognized the increase in efficiency of the utilization up to 40%. They are increased in the utilization because the new layout makes works become faster and more efficient. Thus, the utilization rate of the machineries will also increase. So, to conclude that, this assignment proves that the pro model software helps SME company to stimulate and evaluate the performance of their production. This allows the SME to plan and improve their business system before implementing them. Okay, that's all from me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum.